Hello everyone, my name is Stanley St. Rose, and today we're going to be talking about The New Colossus, written by Emma Lazarus. Now, before I go into summary analysis of this poem, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment so that the channel can continue to grow. Now, this work is very um, fascinating. It says a lot about um, American values and what America stands for. Uh, basically, uh, Emma Lazarus compares the Colossus of Rhodes to the Statue of Liberty within this poem. Now, uh, when she was writing this, she, she actually wrote it to raise money for the Statue of Liberty. Um, there's a plaque um, there now that has this poem, um, you know, at the Statue of Liberty, and you know, you can read it, uh, and you can see it if you visit the Statue of Liberty. It's very fascinating, and I think it really describes and tells us about what the Statue of Liberty stands for and pretty much what America stands for. Um, the, the, the central idea or what one thing that, you know, that you have to take away from this work is that the Statue of Liberty pretty much stands for, um, you know, you know, of course, freedom. Uh, but in, according to this poem, the Statue of Liberty um, stands for um, opportunity, freedom, um, welcome, the welcoming of people from other lands and other countries. And the poem, uh, Emma Lazarus pretty much states, or it's depicted that, you know, all of the people um, all over the world, the homeless, the poor, the people who are forgotten, the people who are conquered, people who have nowhere to go, that America's door is open. Um, and that's still true to this day. A lot of people come to the United States. A lot of people have business with the United States because opportunities, um, you know, there's a lot of opportunities. And if you're willing to work hard even to this day, there's still opportunities. Um, and so this, it's compared, the Statue of Liberty in this poem is compared to uh, the Colossus of Rhodes. And the Colossus of Rhodes is a very different um, monument because the, the, the Colossus of Rhodes is this massive uh, monument that, that has its legs on uh, two different harbors. When, when ships come in, they have to go in between its legs. And uh, it's a testament to power and greatness and to scare um, enemies away. I mean, it was built with the, um, with the weapons of its fallen enemies. Um, it, it's it's all about power, and, and it's kind of even a threat because when that ship, when your ship is coming into the harbor and it has to go um, between the legs of this monument, it's kind of telling you, listen, you know, this is there's no, we're not joking around. Um, if you mess with us, if you do anything to go against us, you will be conquered. You will um, you will pay the price basically. And the Statue of Liberty, according to Emma Lazarus's um, Word this sonnet by Emma Lazarus is kind of like it's more welcoming. Um, it's saying that uh, bring the poor, bring the sick, bring the people that need help, bring the people that need uh, um, freedom. Because you know the Statue of Liberty has a torch, the torch is lighting their way. Um, the, the poem looks uh, pretty much how the gaze of the of the statue is looking out, um, how the torch is there to light the way. Um, and, you know, a lot of people now, you know, we have planes and different ways to get to the United States. But back then when the ships would come in, they didn't have to go through the legs of the Statue of Liberty, like the, the, the Colossus of Rhodes. Um, but they could see this message, this lady, this mother figure welcoming them with opening arms, telling them you need to come here, you need to be here. Um, and, and there's space for you. There's there's you can raise your family, you can get a job, you can. Um, you know, have that American dream. Um, and uh, this could be debated depending on, on, you know, who you are, where you're coming from and your background. Uh, it can be debated if all these promises or all the promises that are depicted within Emma Lazarus's, this work by Emma Lazarus, um, all of the values and ideas that are depicted, maybe it doesn't come true. Uh, maybe it's not a hundred percent truth because when you get to the United States, there's definitely people who are poor, who are homeless, who are, uh, that still need help. And they're already in the United States. Uh, and, and you could be like, is what the poem saying completely true? Um, well, from my perspective, I would say yes and no, there's definitely more opportunities here, but it's not easy. It's not just going to be handed to you. You're definitely going to have to work for it. And not everyone makes or achieves the American dream. Um, so I think it's a different approach um, 
to what uh, the Colossus of Rhodes is saying. Because uh, the Colossus of Rhodes, it's all about fear and power and masculinity, while the Statue of Liberty is more welcoming, it seems more gentle. Um, it's not supposed to be taken as a sign of weakness, because I think all over the world, countries love to show their their uh, their arm of might or, you know, their ability to defend themselves, their ability to protect themselves. Um, it's not to be taken as a sign of weakness. I think it's just supposed to be taken as, you know, these are our core values. This is what we believe in. We believe in helping people. We don't believe on trampling on uh, those who are not fortunate. Uh, we want to take them in and we want them, you know, to be welcomed. Um, so it's a it's a very interesting poem, a very powerful poem. I think the values of the poem still are true to this day, although it's a little bit harder to, you know, become a part of the United States and to come to the United States. I think it was much easier in the past. Uh, but the the core values, the core beliefs that uh, the new Colossus, this poem by Emma Lazarus is displaying and depicting, um, it's still true to this day. Um, so it's kind of like, you know, the, another thing I would like to add is kind of like the statue is facing Europe. Now, some scholars and some people who analyze this will say, um, no, it's just kind of like pointing out to the whole world, whoever needs help, whoever, whatever immigrant needs to come to the United States and, and build a life for themselves, they can come. But I think it's also significant the fact that the statue is looking towards um, Europe, uh, because I think... In, in many ways, it's it's the poem is comparing Europe to the United States. It's com comparing the old world to the new world. Um, so that that is very significant um, by itself. Um, it's kind of like saying that you know Europe. If you look at Europe's history and all the wars, I mean, you're looking at World War Two, World World War One, and World War Two. You're looking at um, the French Empire. You're looking at the British Empire. You're looking at all the types of nations and empires that have, um, you know, that have existed throughout Europe and how they will rise, they rise and fall, rise and fall every, and, that, and that's the one thing I know about history is that when you look at European history, there's a lot of empires who, you know, just literally collect this massive amount of power, dominate uh, for a few decades and then lose it all, and then like it, it just splits in pieces, and then somebody from somewhere decides to build it all again, and then the bloodshed and, and, and the wars and the conflicts, and they all continue. It's just like perpetual cycle uh, where wars and bloodshed and conflict, because someone somewhere is always going to is always going to want to control or conquer someone somewhere else. That's something that's kind of like. You know, that's always the, like when you look at the history of books, that's something that's kind of like present throughout the history of Europe. Uh, but the, the statue, the Statue of Liberty is kind of saying, you know, we're not about the, the conquering. We're not about um, the bloodshed. We're, we're more about caring to the poor. We're more about caring to the to the immigrants, those who have been forgotten. Because, again, when you go to war, the people who lose war, they don't write history and they often end up at the bottom of the barrel scraping to get by. Uh, so the United States or the Statue of Liberty is saying, um, come here because we have, we have opportunities for you. Um, the last thing I'll say about this is that, um, we don't see the immigrants coming. I mean, there's, there's a lot of promises being made throughout this poem. There's a welcoming, be an invitation and, and, you know, you're being invited and being welcomed um, to the United States with this poem, but we never really see the immigrants coming or talked about them actually showing up so this poem is is i think it's more about the ideal of what the this country or america represents to immigrants and, and what it can be for immigrants but we don't we really actually see them right we don't actually see them actually walking onto the shores um so that that is very significant itself so i feel like there there's more of an ideal of what what america can be than what it is um, so you, you kind of have to really think about this poem and, and really look at, it, is this really true, right? Because, I mean, we do have, um, we have, you know, those who are poor, those who are, uh, you know, less fortunate, 
that are already here in the United States and, and they don't really have opportunities just knocking at their door. Um, so that says a lot right there. Um, so I think my own perspective, I think opportunities do exist. However, I think you do have to work hard for it. And the ideal that this poem represents, this sonnet represents, exists, but it's not, it's, it's just not easy to, to obtain it. Um, but then again, I, I would say it's, it's easier to obtain success in the United States um, than, than in some other countries. Uh, but that's the, the whole ideal. That's what's going on in this poem. It's in terms of deeper meaning, in terms of analysis, uh, it's giving you a different perspective of what America is, its core values, um, and what it should be to immigrants and the work of Emma Lazarus kind of like, you know, telling us this is a comparison. In a way, it's comparing the Colossus of Rhodes and the Statue of Liberty with that. But in my perspective, I think it's also comparing really the United States and Europe and, you know, your Euro European history. Um, so th there's a lot there. There's a lot there. That is all I had to say about this poem. I mean, there's much more to it. If you go line by line to, to really analyze it, um, you will find more in it and what it says about the classes of Rhodes and, and the ancient world and the United States. But that's the general idea of what's going on in this poem um, and, and what it's trying to say about the United States. Uh, so remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment. And I'll see you guys in my next video.